Hey guys, James Wolf here, and today is another episode of Nancy True uh, Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. Today is Christmas Eve. I want to wish everyone happy holidays and to all, to everyone that celebrates Christmas. Uh, Merry Christmas and Merry Christmas Eve. Um, 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 before we continue, before we st start this episode, I want to say I have no problem with saying happy holidays. I just, I would much rather say Merry Christmas. Because that's what I was raised to do. And society is changing, yes, and I should be changing with the times. I, I really don't feel like it. So if you get offended by me saying Merry Christmas, I'm sorry. I'm trying to cover my ass by saying Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. If that still offends you, tough shit. I'm, I'm not a person that likes to please people. If you like, If you like what I do, cool. If you don't like what I do, move the right the fuck along. Give me a second. Okay, now. Now that everything is out of the way, um, let's continue. We're doing. American Goldfinch. Northern Cardinal. Red-tailed hawk. Western Tanager. Why is there a shoe? And it looks a decent, a, a newer shoe. Tweet, tweet! Goldfinch. American Goldfinch. Goldfinch. American Robin. Blue Jay. Northern Cardinal. Red-tailed hawk. If I'm not mistaken, that's five. Western Tanager. Fallen tree, I'm near the fallen tree. Okay. I'm just exploring around, trying to find these birds. So 
did go out in the early AM. Missed it. Missed it. How the fuck am I supposed to get the birds? Um Trying to figure out how I'm supposed to get these birds. Fuck. Yellow ribbon. How do I get out from the yellow ribbon? Yellow bird. Fallen tree. Tree stump. Yellow ribbon. Go down. Get to the blue bird. Log. Ranger station, see how I can. Do it. I'm scanning.
You're back. Where's Yogi? In the run, out back. Even out of sight, he's under my full control, as park rules require. Is it a bad thing that I want to smack him so hard it makes his eyes go cross-eyed? Is that a bad thing? I think it's a bad thing. Have you gotten the results back from that water sample I left with you? I meant to call the Department of Health today for a status report, but frankly, I've been way too busy. Sorry if you can hear the bowl in the background. Sounds like Moon Lake could use two rangers. If I were in charge of just ten more acres of parkland, they'd give me an assistant, and I could devote more time to the acquisition of more land and eventually put Moon Lake on the map as one of the biggest, most popular parks in the state. Why didn't the Parks Department buy the Malone property instead of Sally? She outbid them, the cheapskates. Well, if those dogs scare Sally away for good, other people are bound to think twice about buying the place. The bank will lower its price, and you'll have your land. You're insinuating things again, Miss Drew. I'm sorry, I really am. It's just that Sally's my friend, and I'd really like to find out why someone's doing this to her. Tell you what. If you're serious about making amends, there's some boxes by the computer labeled with dates. They're from the estate of a local history buff. She kept everything from newspaper clippings to old photos to recipes for apple crisp. She put everything in envelopes, then numbered them by year using Roman numerals. Just put the envelopes in order by year with the earliest date in front. Oh, and if you're rusty on Roman numerals, there's an entry on them in the computer. Okay if I read what's in the envelopes? Don't go reading anything until you're through. Or take my word for it, you'll never get finished. Sorry, I unplugged my microphone so I could finish my ice cream. And you guys wouldn't have to hear it. Would it be okay if I looked around? Please do. And if you have any questions, any more questions, just ask. Will do. Thanks for all your Sergeant help. Hardass. That's why I'm here. Um. Okay. Let's see. Jeff said the envelope with the earliest date goes down in the front of each box. Now that they're all sorted, I can do some reading. What's the gangster about to become Moon, uh, Moon Lake's newest resident? Make him alone, a self proclaimed captain of industry uh, with far more ties to gamblers and smugglers than to legitimate businessmen. Michael Mickey Malone dies yes died yesterday in uh, of liver failure, all the alcohol, uh, in federal penitentiary at Leavenworth, Kansas, at the age of 52. Born in Newark, New Jersey, in 1889, Malone owned and operated Philadelphia Dub Duds and Suds, a chain of laundromats and dry cleaners, allowed him to disguise and disperse the money he made. As a racketeer. 
Compared to other gangsters, Malone kept a relatively low profile. His desire for privacy was enforced by four large dogs, but never left his side. Although he was rumored to be involved in everything from running, rum running to gold heist, he never spent a single night in jail until he was arrested in 1932. Of course, tax evasion. Got Al Capone. Got a couple other people. It's like, pay your fucking taxes. I know you want more money, but pay your fucking taxes. That, uh, bars gold and then they're saying bars. Let's go in. Howdy, Nancy. I need to buy something. You want it? I got it. As long as you pay cash, that is. Right now, cash is kind of a problem for me. Do you think we could do some kind of trade-out? You scratch my back, I scratch yours, huh? Seeing as how you're a friend of Sally's, and seeing as how I got some things around here that could use doing, I guess we could work something out. What is it you need? Do you sell sandpaper by any chance? I do, but Mr. Birdbrain was in last week and cleaned me out. Said he was tired of that observation platform of his giving him splinters in his hinter regions. Think I could get some from him? He's your only hope. But you better ask him for it quick. That deck of his is pretty big, and those squares I sold him are pretty small. Any word from Tucker What's-His-Name? He hasn't been by to move that tree yet. I'll give him another call. But like I said, the man marches to the beat of another drummer. A very slow drummer. Guess I'll see you later. Always a pleasure. Mm. Coco Krangles. What's that? Doesn't look factory or not factory. Doesn't look like it's installed in the house. I'd better wait until daylight. You find all the birds? I found some birds, but no matter how quiet I am, I've been scaring other birds away before I can take their picture. What am I doing wrong? You're wearing those clothes. That's what you're doing wrong. You need to blend in, like me. Go back over to M's tacky tourist trap and get yourself some camouflage gear. Only sensible thing that money grubber carries. I'm sorry to keep bugging you, but I need some sandpaper. Emily said you might have some? Here. Take it and scram. I was just about to call in a meadowlark. That was always Ruth's favorite. Was Ruth your wife? Good heavens no. My wife had no patience for birding. Ruth was my dog. Border Collie. She'd hear a meadowlark and by golly, her ears would perk and she'd cock her head and she'd just come as close to smiling as ever a dog could. Do many people around here own dogs? Not really. Most people don't bother. The place is surrounded by park land, and Ranger Acres just loves enforcing the leash laws. There it is again. Take your sandpaper and go... sand something, okay? Okay.
I'm gonna see if I have enough boards to... I think I need... This doesn't look very safe. I have... Rotten floor boards, watch your step. Okay, cool. Now let's... <laughs> It's stuck. Whoo. William Akers? I wonder if he's related to Jeff Akers. Philadelphia Gazette, October 9th, 1927. Uh, the truth about Mickey Malone. Okay, cool. Um, I have to go to the um thing. Where the fuck do I find gloves? Give me a second here. Hold on. Give me a second. Okay. It's... Oh. There they are. Um. There. Okay, now I gotta... Let's go... AM. M's Tacky Toy Strap. Let's, let's see which one's closer and I'll go there. Howdy, Nancy. To make a long story short, I need some camouflage gear. Got some right over here. One size fits all. But... I'm running kind of low on bait, so if you go out and get me, oh, say, a dozen little critters, I'll give you the camos. You got a deal. So what kind of bait do you need? Worms, spiders, beetles, grubs, anything that wriggles on its belly will do. Just look under stuff. Rocks, logs, dead leaves. Should be able to find 12 in no time. Hunting for critters isn't illegal, is it? Things ain't quite that bad around here. At least not yet. Now, if Jeff Aker's daddy was still around, you might get arrested for cruelty to animals or some such nonsense. Joe Akers used to be the deputy sheriff. Real critter lover, that one was. I found an old newspaper in Sally's house that contained an article on Mickey Malone. It really got my curiosity going. What else can you tell me about him? Person you should talk to is Jeff Akers. He's got this historical museum thing going out at that ranger station of his. I found this picture in Sally's house. Do you recognize anybody? Hmm. 
I'm guessing the guy's Mickey Malone, but I don't know who's that lady. Sounds like a case for our resident know-it-all Ranger Acres. Guess I'll see you later. I guess you will. Come on. Come on. You're back. Sorry to bother you again, but did those results from the water test come in yet? Well, there's something here for you from the State Department of Health. Uh, do not drink water or use Oh my water. gosh, not only is the water bad, but it seems like the well may have been contaminated deliberately. Okay. I wouldn't go jumping to conclusions without proof, Ms. Drew. I'm sure there's a far less melodramatic explanation. Did you read the fucking letter? No, you did not, because you're a goody two-shoes, and you don't open other people's mail. Basically, there was- there- they don't find arsenic in this area, so fuck you. I found a newspaper dating back to 1927 in Sally's house. Since you're kind of an expert on the history of Moon Lake, do you mind if I ask you some questions about Mickey Malone? Not at all. The article mentioned that a man named William Akers used to work for Malone. Is he a relative of yours? No. Quite a coincidence, I'll admit, but no. I am in no way related to the head flunky of some two-bit gangster and his gang of thugs. I found this old picture in Sally's house. Do you know who these people are? The man is Mickey Malone, I know that. I'm guessing that this is his girlfriend, Vivian Burnett, I think her name was. And judging by the year of that brand new Ford in the background, I'd say the picture was taken in 1928. I love, I love how he could tick out the fact that it was a Ford. Model A, more than likely. It's Model A, just by looking at it. She was probably as familiar with Malone's house and his dogs as he was. Think there's any chance she's still alive? Tell you what, Miss Drew. Why don't I go through my files and see what I can dig up on this mystery woman? I'm a busy man, but like I always say, I'm here to serve. I finished putting all those envelopes in order. Excellent. Thank you, Miss Drew. And to show my gratitude, I've got something for you. Chances are it isn't a paycheck. No, it's an honorary Junior Park Ranger pin. I keep them on hand so I can give them out to children whom I see demonstrating respect for park rules and regulations. A little bit of positive reinforcement. Unfortunately, I... Don't get to give them out that often. Oh, gee, thanks, Ranger Acres. <laughs> what happened to Acres and the rest of Malone's gang after he went to prison? <laughs> Fortunately for Moon Lake, they all left and went their separate ways. I've been trying to take pictures of birds for this guy named Red Knot. Ever met him? Oh, yes, the bird man. I'd stay away from him if I were you. Why? Why? Is something wrong with him? He's a fanatic. He's got it in his head that Moon Lake would be the best bird-watching venue in the world except for one thing. Too many people. Believe me, if there was a way to get this park shut down and all the homes on the lake torn down, he'd do it in an instant. When and why was Malone arrested? I'm sorry, Ms. Drew. As usual, I'm a little pressed for time. If you have more questions... Why don't you sit down at the computer and peruse the Moon Lake database of fascinating factoids that I've put together? No, thanks. Thanks for all your help. Not a problem. No, I'm good. I'm good. Oh, Jesus. What the fuck was that? Alright, so I think I'm going to leave this episode off here. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, subscribe. And as always, I shall catch you guys in the next video. Have a great, wonderful day. Bye-bye.